Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode on the Blockhead server. It's episode 40. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at uh, building some things around the village to kind of finalize this area. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be completely finalized. One of those things we talked about, I might have mentioned before. I don't really remember. Anyway, uh, right here, you can see that in Waffle Stick's wall, there is a little gap. What I want to do is build a stairway that goes up to this little gap right here. And the reason I want to do that is because I feel like this pathway comes all the way up into here. Looks like you're getting to closer to the castle, but the actual entrance to the castle, the way that you actually would walk to it without an elytra, is way back over there, up and around the thing, and then through the <laughs> manor house area. And yeah, it's, it's quite a convoluted way to get there. So what I wanted to do, and I've been thinking about this for a long time, is to put a stairway in here that's gonna take you up to the castle area. That means that this house right here is in the way. And you might notice last time I did not do any decorating as far as the villager statues on this house. And the reason I did that is because we gotta tear it out. I like it, but honestly, there's another one over there and there's another one over there. So there's two other ones that are exactly the same as this one. Yeah, so this one just has to go. So. What I'm going to do is tear this one out and build the stairway. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and do that and start things off with a time lapse. That building is now gone, and what we're left with here is just this little gap that we have right there. And I'm kind of thinking, well, I was first thinking that we should just do like stairs straight down out of this, but I don't know if that's going to be quite the... I'm now inside of a statue. How funny. Um, that that is going to be quite the right thing. It's just, I don't know, I feel like I need something a little bit more grand, a little bit wider. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do exactly. I think I might come down a little ways and then maybe do a platform and then come down some more. Maybe something like that would be the right way to go. Let me see what I can come up with. All right, this is what I've come up with so far. Yeah, I know, right? It's not that great. <laughs> uh, it needs lots of detailing and it needs some stuff, but I think that I have the sort of levels correct. So here, I initially started with just you know, um, stairs all the way down and it just didn't look right. So then I went with slabs all the way down and it didn't look right. And then I went with slabs on the top and stairs on the bottom. And then I arrived at this. And so this is kind of, I think a good start, but it's definitely not there. So yeah, we're going to add some stuff. Got to add some things to this because it's terrible. All right. It is all done. It's all done. So I made some alterations to it. I made it a little bit wider here at the base. So it kind of comes out a little bit like this as you come down the stairs like that. And the reason I did that is because this side has this tower, but the other side just looked a little bit flat. So what I decided to do is make it come out like that. And that was the fix for that. Um, this tower right here is the same as those towers up there. So basically it's kind of like a little guard shack in the middle of the bridge or the staircase right here. And that's just to keep out any riffraff that are going up here. The guard can hopefully stop them before they get 
uh, too high up into the castle area and the nobles area. You know, if a commoner tried to climb the steps, they might be like, what are you doing? What are you doing, commoner? <laughs> anyway, um, here what we have is we've got these little, uh, these little lanterns on the side with our prismarine. Um, and I decided to go with like these prismarine stripes down the center just to kind of, just to kind of draw your eye up to the staircase and also because it matches the castle itself. So it, it kind of shows that like, hey, this is the start of the castle right here as you go up these stairs. And I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm really, really, really liking it. I wish I could put these, uh, the smooth stone up there. But unfortunately, I can't because they don't have stairs in smooth stone, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Uh, why Minecraft decides to do stairs and slabs for a certain block and not for another is completely arbitrary and it's really annoying. But anyway, yeah, so that is done and I'm really excited about that stairway. I think that it looks just right. What I decided to do about this little planter area right here is I'm going to... Um, get a hold of waffle stick and just tell him about this staircase tell him about the planner and then let him decide if he's okay removing it or not because I, I, i'm just not gonna tear down something that waffle stick built even if it's something really simple that i, I know that he probably wouldn't care about but um i just want to you know make sure that uh, i wouldn't want my stuff just torn out without me um without somebody asking me first but uh yeah there's that and then back here here's waffle stick's little uh, barracks that I like quite a bit. It looks really cool. Looks really cool. Waffle Stick says he's not a very good builder, but he's a good builder. He's a good builder. He just needs to get over the fact that he thinks he's not a good builder. And then he'll be a great builder. Because that's really all you have to do is proclaim that you're a good builder. And all of a sudden your builds are amazing. No, I'm just kidding. That's silly. But anyways, uh, yeah, so on to some other things that I wanted to do here. I'm really disappointed that these armor stands are kind of causing some lag on my screen here. Um, cause I really love them. They just add so much, but I might have to remove all of them. Okay. Next on our list of things that I wanted to do are these little carts. I wanted to put some carts around like this. And so this one here is going to have a horse in front of it. Eventually I just need to find a horse. So basically we're just going to tie a lead to this thing like that. And then it kind of has just like an open back like this. This is one of the designs I made from my 20 carts farm equipment and wagons video that I did just a little bit ago that was widely unwatched. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm going to, one of the reasons I made that video is to put some of these in the blockheads. I was just kind of experimenting with doing some different carts. And I like this cart design much better than I like the one that's down, well, you guys saw it in the previous episode, probably, uh, down there. Um, this one is really cool. I like it very much. But uh, we're going to do several of these different little carts and maybe some um, some farm equipment as well for the little farmers to be operating. So uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and build some of these and I'll show you each one. Well, here we go with another one. This one here is gonna have a couple of pigs in front of it. And this guy is gonna be mar marching it down the road here to the market. It's supposed to be maybe some sort of a, you know, maybe a maybe some honey or something in there. I don't, I don't know what we could say is in that particular Thing. But uh, yeah, the pigs are the pigs are going to be um, in front of it eventually. But it's 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 not ready yet. It's, it, there's no pigs. Well, so far I've come to the one place where I know that um, horses naturally spawn here on our island, and all I found so far is one wolf, <laughs> oh. one wolf, and I don't even have any bones with me to uh, train this guy. So <laughs> uh, it's kind of kind of a bit of a bust. Uh, maybe if I fly away and come back a couple times, they will show up. Let's try that. Okay, another one that I went ahead and did was this guy right here. And so we have a bit of, uh, I guess it's a plow is what this is. Yeah. So we're going to need to put some pigs in front of him. I'm going to have to like redesign the plow a little bit to make it fit. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And we've got a guy kind of behind the plow here that I need to decorate now. Uh, I had to add that armor statue to pull the plow uh, to make the look like the plow kind of has a driver. So we're going to do that. And then there's another one that I did over this way. So this one here, we've got another little wagon. And all of these need horses, of course. So I'm going to have to breed some horses, I guess. There's that one. And then there's one more along the pathway back down here. It is up over the hill. 
right there, and it's a little bit of a hay cart. Actually, it's a much larger one, so kind of a larger uh, a larger wagon here with the hay. And then, of course, this needs horses as well, and maybe a driver, but we'll get to that eventually. All right, so after that time lapse, I went ahead and made several more trees because I just wanted to, and I didn't put them in the time lapse. Um, if I remember right, it was over like Christmas break, and I had some family in town, and I was just kind of building trees here and there, but I built several more. Um, there's this one. No, I don't think that's a new one. There's this one. Is this one new? Is it new? No. Uh, I don't even know, but oh, this one's definitely new. There's this one here that I think turned out pretty well. That one looks a little weird. This one's a little flat on top, but they all look pretty good as far as like, you know, just ambiance and stuff. But I mean, if I'm being super critical, this one is a little bit too flat. That one I think turned out pretty well, actually. This one here is interesting. Um, I like it decently. My favorite one though is this one right here. And I just, it just worked out really well, that particular one. Um, I think I need a few more leaves on it, actually. This is the last one that I had done. And it, that one just turned out really nicely, and it's, I think it's really aesthetically pleasing. On this one here, I did something slightly different. I took the, the, uh, the branches and I took them off the ends of our uh, sort of larger branches here made with the spruce, or sorry, the birch wood. And I just think that that looked a little bit better than the way that I was doing it kind of in the one with the time lapse and stuff. Mm. So anyway, um, we have multiple uh, custom trees here now instead of what we had before, just the derpy little normal uh, Minecraft um, sapling, normal birch trees like that one there, which they look okay. Don't get me wrong, it was fine. But uh, if we can build a custom tree, why not do that instead? So this area I think looks a lot better and I'm really happy with it as usual. <laughs> And here we go. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing next. So I've been harvesting a lot of my leaves from this area right here. And just to orient you, there's here's our castle, if it loads in. There's our castle. And here's kind of like the town square thing going on. And then there's the, uh, the nobles district. And then here we were building trees across the river. Over the river and through the woods. To grandmother's house we go. <laughs> Boy, I haven't sung that in a long time. Anyway, um, over here what I wanted to do was build like more city, right? So we've got that area. This is kind of city, but I want more and I want it to be 
uh, a little bit dingier and a little bit more crowded as far as the buildings crowded together. And I think that this is going to be like the perfect place. I'd like to have a port along here. And then I'd like to fill this. It's actually kind of an island on the island because this river cuts all the way through here. And what I'd like to do is take this whole entire landscape and build a city on it. Which I think is a little bit on the nuts side. Uh, maybe I shouldn't do the whole thing. But I don't know why that would be bad. I don't know why that would be bad. But we have one minor problem um, before I do that, and that is the fact that this landscape here is covered in these trees. And as much as I love these trees, they have to go, because what I need to do is I need to be able to plan out a city, and then I'll probably build back in some trees after the city has been created. So we need to get rid of those. And what better, better way to get rid of things like that than in another third person time lapse. So here we go.
Okay, we're in scout mode here, and it looks like the land is pretty clear all over this area. I left some of these larger trees because they're annoying to take down, and I got kind of tired of doing it. Plus, also, I might use the leaves later, and so then um, storing the leaves in shulker boxes is starting to get to be kind of a problem. Um, also, for some reason, I did not go all the way to the end here. I don't know. I think I just got kind of tired <laughs> of cutting down trees. But this will leave me enough room to kind of start doing a town layout. And I've never done a town layout before, before building. I just kind of typically just kind of start building. So what I think I'm going to do is grab some colored wool and start laying out kind of how I see this town being built. My, the ground seems colorful with all this wool on it. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is laying out some basics and... What I have is the orange is going to be some roadways and also like there's going to be a few little open places. That's where sort of those circles are. And then the purple is some houses. Pink is port, like ports, like ships and stuff and warehouse buildings. And then the blue are going to be like a fountain or like a statue or something. And then yellow is an inn. So far I have one inn. I want to do one, maybe two more inns somewhere along here maybe one down there um this mound right here is reserved for a um i'm gonna build like a cathedral like a little church or a, maybe probably more like a little church not a cathedral and then um i need to do some more purple everywhere and stuff like that but it's starting to come together and i think it, it kind of feels like i'm wasting time by laying everything out but then it's also like i kind of feel like i might be saving time by laying everything out so i don't know honestly don't know if it's better to uh, lay everything out first and then build or to just build. But um, it has helped me think through like the pathways. I think that that's pretty nice. Um, I definitely recommend doing the pathways. Another reason that I wanted to lay things out like this on the ground was because I wanted to kind of challenge myself as a builder. I feel like as uh, w when I'm building that I'm able to do decent houses, but I just feel like they're kind of lacking some creativity right like so i tend to build houses based on like a template in my head like you know seven by eleven or five by twelve um that kind of thing and so then by making sort of shapes that are a little bit different than what i would normally do i feel like eventually um as i start working on the actual buildings that uh, they're going to come out a little bit more interesting and there's going to be some different different sorts of shapes to work with as far as buildings so um, I'm kind of looking forward to that. All right, I've got some progress done on this thing. We've done a few more houses here and there. And I ran out of magenta wool, so I had to switch to purple. But the magenta and the purple are the same thing, just more more houses or shops, whatever we want them to be. Waffle Stick and Etsmite had a look at it, and they were kind of uh, blown away. I guess this is kind of a bigger project than I kind of thought it was going to be. I don't know why I thought that turning an entire peninsula of an island would be a small project, but um, that's just how I think, I guess. <laughs> My biggest question is, what do I do about areas like this that are sunken down like this? Um, for now, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of laying out the houses that might fit there. I might have to fill these in somewhat, or I might be able to leave them like open like that, like, and then just make sort of stilts for the houses to come up on. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that or how I want to handle that. But that area right there is a big question. And then kind of this area is a big question as well, as far as them being a little bit lower down in elevation. But the rest of it's pretty straightforward and not that big a deal. And I, I like the elevation changes a lot because I think they're going to add a lot to the overall city when it's done. The elevation changes are um, a big part of it looking nice and natural and, and non, uh, you know, if I flatten the whole landscape and then I put everything down, it's just going to look too flat. What you see before you is a bunch of wool, but what I see is a bustling, thriving, beautiful, sort of urban sprawling city. Um, yeah, that's all I see when I look at this. <laughs> and I see just the potential to like do all kinds of cool, interesting builds and make this thing just really come alive and make a world that is just very awesome. and cool looking. Anyway, this is going to be a massive project building this. I know Etz and Waffle Stick intend to help a little bit um, as far as it's building and construction, but we have plenty of episodes ahead of us in which we can build this. 
And you guys thought that I forgot about the horses and the wagons and the pigs, but I didn't forget. <laughs> Would you believe that I went all the way out to Etzmine's, uh, whatever you call that thing, uh, well, a farm way out in the in the nether i had to go through nether portals i brought this horse all the way back from there through two three four different nether portals uh and he's here and he's breeding but this golden horse has been here the entire time and i've had this horse here the entire time so i didn't didn't even need to do that <laughs> which is really dumb but now we have two horses and a little baby horse right there we've got a little foal look at him look at him oh he's so cute all right, so we're going to go ahead and breed up a few horses and put these on um, some of the wagons that we made. And also, we're going to go ahead and put some pigs on some of the other wagons that we made. All right, so now our tiller guy has some pigs pulling his plow. And Waffle Stick called this guy the headless tiller. <laughs> And I think that's so funny that uh, we're just going to leave the head off of him. I might put like a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern next to him or something. That I think that'd be hilarious to call him the headless tiller. But that's going to be great. And then um, over here, I put pigs on this one as well because I bred up some pigs and now we have them in the right place. So, yeah. Unfortunately, the pigs aren't facing the right direction, but that's about as good as we can get as far as... Uh, the pigs pulling the thing. There's a few other carts that require the horses, and I'm still waiting for them to breed and grow up. Okay, now he has a jack-o'-lantern on his head. I don't know if that's better or not, but I think that's pretty funny. He's still the headless tiller. <laughs> Maybe we need to put the jack-o'-lantern on the ground over here, but yeah. Anyway, I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> He's still kind of spooky. All right, we have a horse. We have a horse. We bred some horses and we have a horse and he is kind of pulling the cart there. <laughs> We've got another one over here. If I can take to the air so we can go there quickly. Got one here. This guy's pulling this cart right here or he's looking at the cart anyway. And then over here we have, I think I did another horse over here. I sure did. Here's a horsey here. Hi, Mr. Horsey. How's it going? This horse is now part of this other guy right here. They are one in the same. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, of course, now why are you up there? Get down! <laughs> horse. Silly horse. Anyway, uh, the very last thing that I wanted to do in this episode was um, I wanted to go ahead and do a little mining session. And so I'm over here at Etzmine's gargantuan perimeter project because eventually what he's going to be doing is running these TNT dupers or some sort of TNT duper thingy and basically blowing this whole area all to pieces and building some stuff. And so what I thought we should do is I thought we should come over here, go down to the bottom and do some mining in this area, therefore... Uh, making use of the fact that he's going to get rid of most of this stuff. Okay, so I managed to pick up um, an entire shulker box. Where is it? Of cobblestone. So here's that one. And then I have another full shulker box in here. For some reason, I brought a bunch of full shulker boxes with me, which makes no sense. Um, I also got a few other random things like some... Um, you know, some gold ore. I got 24 diamonds, which is nice. I got uh, several uh, zombies to kill, evidently. <laughs> I also got a bit of redstone dust, of course, and some coal and some other things that one gets when one mines. But uh, yeah, I th I'm pretty happy with having two shulker boxes full of our lovely, wonderful, beautiful cobblestone. Well, guys and gals, that's all we have for this episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share all that kind of stuff that helps out the channel. But more importantly, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. And God bless.